Hi everybody, my name is Derek Brocky, and I'm from Bethany Global University and now I'm going through Messenger Boot Camp. We're in week two and we just went out on our lunch outreach and the goal for today was to, uh, to pray over somebody. So right when we got to the mall, the Lord was highlighting people and we, we actually had prayed for maybe three or four people. And then uh, as I was going through the line, the lunch line, um, I started talking to our server who is named Chris. And, um, and so as I got out of line, I just sensed that I was supposed to go back later once the line had died down. So I went up later, I said, hey Chris, I know that, you know, I, as I've been eating uh, my lunch, I felt like the Lord was asking me to come and pray for you. Uh, is there anything I can pray for you about? And, um, and so our conversation kind of evolved. He said, yeah, you know, maybe this or that. And I said, well, how's your relationship with the Lord doing? And he said, uh, you know, I think it's pretty good, but it could always be better. And I said, well, Chris, I, I think the Lord has sent me here to you today to just encourage you that you're on the right path, um, uh, pursuing w what it means to know God. And uh, have, you ever, have you ever prayed to accept Jesus as your Savior? And, um, and he said, no, I, I haven't. And I said, well, the Bible is really clear that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved, but also there will be those who, who maybe think they kind of know God, and, and Jesus will say, you know, I never knew you. And so, uh, is, is this something that you'd like to do? And he's like, well, I'm, I'm not sure. And then uh, he, he kind of had to get back to some of his work duties. So when I got to talk to him again, I said, hey, let's exchange numbers. Would you be willing to talk about the gospel with me at a later time? He said, yeah, definitely. Let's, let's get together. So we exchanged numbers right there while he was on the clock. And he's planning on uh, getting together with me tomorrow. So I'm just praying and hoping that the Holy Spirit continues to work in his heart, um, that he remains open to the gospel, and that hopefully tomorrow or sometime soon he'll be able to actually pray and accept Christ as his Savior. Thanks.